Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel. Today we'd like to talk about a stellar XLM coin potential targets for 2023 and the next bull run. We'll dive into my indicator set, what the whales do now with XLM. Let's dive in. Here's the charts of XLM and Binance on a weekly time frame signed here, since December 2017. And of course, if we take a look on this chart, we can't draw just simple trend line like this one. So basically what we can see, it's a test of this trend line. It's just a matter of time when we go in a sideways and retest like this one, 59 cents for example, or uh, going from this current price going to 64 cents for example, or we can go in a sideways long time period here and the test around 50 cents. So it's hard to say about a timing, you know, but everything programmed it before. So we got this downtrend. But the funny things, if we take a look on a line chart, it looks totally in the opposite way. So we are in an uptrend this one. That's why we have to just go and double check with my customer Crisetta what the whales do with this coin now. And based on this just chart, we can form in just double bottom, you know. So here's a one, two, and after this retest, if just hypothetically, if the trillions inflow in crypto space in the next uh, years, we could see something like this one, you know, just based on a technical picture like uh, double bottom. It's around $1.41. You know, maybe with some mass adoption, maybe some institutional, maybe some countries start making payments with uh, Stellar XLM. So nobody knows, nobody knows the future. That's why we analyze only the technical picture of this coin and not dive into fundamental because we don't know what can happen and what the use case can be for XLM in the futures. So if we take a look on this a chart and let's count now uh, here from this moment. Here the top, once again, one more confirmation. So the top of uh, bull run was here in May, April 2021, not in November, you know, not every single altcoin forming something like this one. Most of altcoins forming something like this one. So A, B, C. So if you trade by waves, you know, uh, here, here's a, a top, here's the first support. Even, even like this one, we can count like this one. So if we count from this support, I have a bad news for you because we can forming the crash to two cents and the forming just a deviation. And it's going to be really, really hard. 38 level by FIP uh, correction, collapse it down, trying to hold the line at uh, zero level. Here's a reaction at 18 level by FIP. The road can be open to 27 level. It's a three cents. Of course, it's hard to believe so we can crash from this price uh, 64 cents down. I hope not. I hope not. But if we crash, it can be just one big, uh, one big range deviation at the bottom and the road will be open to make a deviation at the top around $1.56, uh, for example. There was the COVID dump, the pandemic, you know, the crash of all everything in the world, you know. So now I don't know what have to happen so we can crash to this level three cents. But if we will crash, you can buy in here uh, just easily. Or you can uh, accumulate now. Here's a main uh, stop losses. Here's stop losses. Here's stop losses of the people who open the short. So now we got a main stop losses and the kind of order flow, you know. The most bullish scenario, at least we can go to test at zero level here. 19 cents, liquidate all the stop losses at 24. Or 23 level by FIP, it's 33 cents. For this year, for example, like this one and drop it down one more time. So it's it will be the uh, bullish scenario. I don't think so. We will skyrocket from 8 cents to 0.5 level by FIP like this one, 500, uh, almost 500%, you know, to liquidate all these guys. But uh, everything possible. If we, go, if we talk about this downtrend line, you know, and the whales decide to push the price to uh, 0.5 level by FIP here, yes, it can be the test of this uh, downtrend line. Let's take a look now on my custom gear set, what indicators show us and what the whales do now with the Stellar. So, wow. Once again, why we can drop more? Because uh, here it's the weekly time frame, the whole history of uh, XLM. Uh, all this time it was a distribution. So only one here accumulation, here is a September, uh, here is a February 2019. Two times we got a accumulation. And just compare, we lay down this bottom and here was accumulation. Compare with this one. So the market changed, 
everything totally different now. The whales accumulate much, much more because they knew something. Why do they not accumulate uh, like this one here in this area? after this pump and after that they pump a price from uh, 5 cents to 80 cents it's kind of crazy and now they accumulate much much more stellar uh, almost at the same price at 16 at, at 9 cents and here at the 7 cents on a monster time frame we are in the accumulation stage it's not a time to out of coin like this one we need to start selling the xlm when we could see something like this you know on 80z not in this moment. Here's a crude flat direction. No signal to sell on whole history here on a weekly. The whales only accumulate. They not accumulated here, not so much, you know. They start accumulating here because maybe they knew something about the utility of XLM in the future. Here, from May 2022, you see the whales accumulate a lot. Here's a November 2022, FTX collapse till January 2023, accumulate a lot. Distribution. Here's distribution. Every single time when you see that cold white mode on the market, it's time to accumulate. So here's no, no interest from retail investors. They nobody believe in this coin, you know. But this is a time for accumulation. And the problem with uh, uh, me, you, and your friends, you know, and the whales. The whales don't care about the timing, you know. They can accumulate. For example, here they start accumulating November 2018 and start pumping coin uh, after two years. This is how it works. So if the whales start accumulating in January 2022, here in December 2023, they end. So now we could see some maybe pullbacks, for example, to 19 cents, then can can crash price once again. We want more time to see the uh, white mode on the market total disbelief. And after that, maybe by end of 2023, they start pumping to the new all-time high because I... I think the end of next bull run will be around 25 uh, spring or uh, maybe autumn to some 25. But uh, of course, uh, it's hard to say about the timing, but 25, 26, it will be the end of a massive bull run. And then three years down. Let's take a look on uh, trade on. Trade on indicator, yes, still not showing the signal to buy because uh, I showed you on the flow on XRP on some other altcoins. Uh, I forgot which one. We get a signal to sell at the top here in May 2021. A uh, uh, recommendation close position, and we got a signal to take profit. Now on the XLM, we didn't see the signal take profit or signal to buy. And once again, you have to understand why the big mistake of uh, many traders they count the they count the bear market from the November, but here, here was the end of bull run. And we over then, over then uh, 735 days in the downtrend. So it's more than enough days uh, for whales accumulate their altcoins and push the price, for example, for example, to this level, withdraw initial deposit, dump it one more time down to show the one more trap for retail investors because they need to put the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, yes. They need to put the Bitcoin higher. They need to bring the altcoin season and uh, stole your money from your wallet. And then this money from this pump, they can drop altcoins once again down and all this money will inflow to Bitcoin to push the Bitcoin higher because Bitcoin too heavy. You know, it's much easier to price to pump the XLM with 8 cents to 50 cents than Bitcoin from uh, uh, 30k to 60k. You know, that's a big difference. So this is what about a trade on. So maybe we really, really soon could see the signal to buy or take profit at least. Take profit indicator, this indicator shows uh, the time to buy when we uh, trade under the filament price. Here, we trade on the from our price, it's time to accumulate. Safety trade, it's time uh, when you trade buying at um, uh, under from our price and out of coin at uh, take profit. So now, here is a test of from our price below. If we hold the line at 18 level by FIP, the reward is open to take profit, it's 27 cents. Over than this stop loss, or than this one. So it's not uh, some hopium, it's just uh, how it works. You know, this is how the whales um, play with us. And after take profit, usually 
we could see the retest of the buy line. So it's a fundamental price, the real value of this coin. Buy line, take profit, exit line. So it's safe to trade also on the weekly. Of course, we can skyrocket over then uh, this last line, like it was here, but it just safety trade. So it's totally different time now than in after post COVID time. Uh, now, safety trade could be from this current moment to take profit 220 uh, cents, 220%. Uh, so if, uh, for example, you buy in here, at this current moment at 8 cents, you can at least withdraw your initial deposit here and wait back, buy again at the buy line. So it can be like this one, you know? So this is how it works, you know? So it's this will be the not time to jump all in. And if you use this CA strategy here from 15 cents, for example, till 7 cents, your average price, for example, 10. And even from 10 cents to uh, 27, you can at least uh, withdraw your initial deposit, just leave free coins. Guys, I hope you like this video about XLM analysis, potential targets for this year and the next bull run with my custom indicator set. If you want to trade with this indicator set only for one dollar per day, just write me DM. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the bell notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.